Wait, 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 wait. Talk to me slowly. I can follow. How much do you remember? I, um, I got in my car and Theo was in the back seat. I don't know. Theo took you and put you in the limo instead of Brenda. Limo exploded. You're amazing. Aw, I can come back later. Uh, no, it's always great to see you. You too. Mm -hmm. Sam, I bought an assortment of books for you. Let's see. There is the latest Sookie Stackhouse. Ooh, mm -hmm. awesome. Volume 1 of the Outlander series. It's really long, so you might want to save it for when you go home. And then, the first in a series by Laura Lippman. It's about a female PI. Thank you. What, what was that? You're welcome in sign language. I'm going to teach it to Sam. Mm, what, what are you doing? Nice. Uh, uh thanks. <laughs> I meant, I meant it's nice that your fingers are slender. That'll make it easier for you to sign too. By an hour orderly. Uh, according to a few witnesses, I just missed him. Yeah, I figures. I left his description with hospital security, and I'll follow up as soon as I get back to the station. Uh, don't waste the time. The dude is an epic fail like me. He'll be dead before nightfall. So what do you need? I thought we could go over your statement again. You know, you were on some pretty heavy medication. Maybe you overlooked something last night. Oh, yeah? Like how fast Theo can find my ass? Well, that's telling in itself. How so? Well, you know better than most that Theo kills to tie up loose ends. The fact that he's after you indicates that you know something that we could use against him. And I'm betting there's going to be a few more hitmen coming by. Oh, well, now I see where you're going. I'm perfect bait. Exactly. You see, hitmen are pretty easy to flip once you've figured out the most effective way to lean on them. Oh, that works fine for you. For me, not so much. Oh, you'll have a string of the old hitmen sweat while I'm riding in the ground. Thanks for taking the time to hear me out. Of course. I mean, come on, you had me at AIDS wing. Normally, I'm the one that's nagging everyone else about it, so it's nice to have someone coming to me, and I'm excited to hear what you have to say. My cousin is in corporate donations. She says the Adamson Group is taking proposals. Now, I oh, thought sorry, the I don't mean to be... cut you off, but the Adamson Group doesn't take hospital proposals. They do now. Seriously? Ten million in grant funding to one lucky winner. What? I don't... How did I miss that? <laughs> did you hear me say my cousin? The Adamson Group is not going to announce anything until April. So that means we have a whole month's worth of a jump on the competition? Yeah, if we put in the time, we can make up a proposal that they cannot refuse. You know, we, we take everything. Pitch everything that the Stone Cates Wing has done in the way of research. Yeah, and our community outreach. I mean, no other hospital can compete on that front. Exactly. This is going to be way more than the 500-word essay. You know, <laughs> this proposal needs to be extensive, comprehensive. We're going to be burning the midnight oil like we were back in college. I liked college. So did I. <laughs> How awesome would it be to win that grant? That money is so ours. I mean, I don't care if we have to move in together for the next month. We are going to write the proposal to end all proposals. Have I told you lately how much you rock? <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I know you were hoping for more, but I was straight with you last night. Yeah, to the best of your knowledge. The fact is, you were shot and medical care was delayed. 
I'm considering the pain and trauma. There could be holes in your memory. Look, if anything magically comes back... I'll call. You have my word. Thanks. There was uh, a new development this morning. We recovered what's left of the catering van used to abduct Brenda. Where? Torched at the airport parking lot. We came up empty on forensics. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And the location suggests that Brenda was flown out of town. Well, maybe. But the Theo is the master of false leads. Like him having me grab Brenda before the wedding. So when his true intention was to take her from the limo. But it is in his character to dump the van at the airport and hold Brenda right here in Port Charles. But I'm sure you've figured that out already, huh? This is a test. Did I pass? I'll be in touch. Hey, Lucky. Hey. hey. I must have missed your call. I didn't know you were back in town. Yeah, sorry. I forgot to check in. I just haven't had my hands full. Oh, I know. I heard what happened to Brendan and Sam. Yeah, well, at least we know who we're up against. The Balkan is Theo Hoffman, Brendan and Dante's lawyer. The hypochondriac who threatened to sue this hospital? Yeah, that's the guy. He was right under our noses, but now we're on to him. If you need to reschedule your Thursday night with Cameron and Jake, I'll completely understand. No, no, no that's, that's fine. Thursday's great. I mean, I, I love spending time with the boys. Yeah, so do they. Hey, I have new pictures. You want to see them? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to. No? Can you believe how big Jakey's getting? No, it blows me away every time I see him. I know, and Cameron, and just Aiden. Oh, wow, he's getting big, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> You know, Monica made a funny observation the other day. She thinks Aiden looks like you. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, his forehead kind of looks like Mom's. Maybe his chin. Must have uh, skipped a generation. Nicholas popped up in his son. You're right. You're right. I have been writing a bit more than usual, I guess. You're also right about something else. It is because of you. Yeah, um, I'm... I'm really sorry if I've done anything to make you feel uncomfortable or uh, if I've crowded you. No, I just, it's, you know, it's just I'm... the opposite, really. Okay, um... Well, we're... We're in it, I guess, so... So here it goes. I've been thinking about you a hell of a lot lately. Oh. Just wanting to be uh, closer to you, if you know what I mean. And you think that's a problem? I don't know. I wasn't sure. things up for you. I think about you all the time. Yeah. I do. And, um, last night when we got home from the wedding, I was kind of hoping that, um, let's just say that if you had knocked on my door, I wouldn't have turned you away. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's funny, no. too. No, it's just, I was actually waiting outside of your door last night for about 10 minutes. <laughs> and then I chickened out and uh, went for, for, for a ride, of course, yeah. yeah. Well, you could have come back in the morning. Brooklyn, I'm, I'm just really trying hard not to take advantage of you. Maybe you shouldn't try so hard. This is how you say I love you in sign language. Try it. There you go. Good. 
Do you think you can remember, or do you want to run drills? I got it. Yeah. You know what, Molly? We uh, really appreciate this. It's very thoughtful, but I, I think it might be a little too soon for Sam to learn sign language because she could get her hearing back. I'll learn sign language. You should probably go. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not leaving. Go look for Brenda. Sonny and Dante, look. Yes, I'm going. I guess so. No, no, God, no, absolutely not. I'm but It's me. I'm sorry. I'm the one who's wrong here. No, Nicholas. Look, I want this, I okay? Know, I know, I know, I know. I want you to. I want this too, but you have to understand, the, the last time I took a, what I want, I ruined three lives, okay? I'm sorry, so I don't want to make it four. 